Lane number nine, James Labuke. He was a personal best by a full second this morning, a ninth in the 100 free earlier this week. Colin Gagne, an incredible 400 AM to qualify for the national team last night. Blake Turney swimming in lane number eight. He was second in the 100 meter backstroke. Lane one, Aiden Norman from University of Calgary, the first of two juniors in this field. And here's your second junior, junior, sorry, one of the top young freestylers in the country, Paul Dardis. Lane two, Finley Knox qualified for this team with the personal best and national record time in the 200 IM. Yutong Wu, the top junior Olympic athlete, is swimming in lane number six, unattached. He's fourth in the 400 meter freestyle. Jeremy Bagshaw, one of the veterans on the Canadian national team, been on and off of it since 2013. And lane number five, he was second in the 100 meter freestyle from Ajax, Javier Acevedo. He's got a personal best, 149.0. Patrick Hussey with a strong morning swim today to get only one of four swimmers under two minutes, but definitely, sorry, one of 50. They were all under two minutes. Um, Patrick Hussey, though, Point Clair Swim Club, 149.54. It was a full second drop from his entry time, so he ha will have lane number four here tonight. It's, it's definitely one of those races where we don't exactly know what we're going to see. The top entry time, if we're looking just at straight time, would probably be coming out of lane two, Finley Knox. He's been 147 before. That A standard, like we mentioned, is pretty steep for this race. But in order to qualify a men's relay yes, and to qualify four, they all have to average, all four members have to average to the time 148.1. So, Jason, that's a little bit unrealistic if we have to kind of yeah I think you know based on everybody's seed time it would take few swimmers going right. into the 147 lows and then and then a few of the other ones having some leeway on towards the back end so it will be very challenging to get down that relay standard but always possible but always possible we are missing a couple big names in this one there's no Ruslan Gatsiev and unfortunately he was sick and wasn't able to compete so it will be a difficult standard to meet here in the, in the tournament of freestyle, but Javier Acevedo, he's not wasting any time in lane number five going for it, as is Finley Knox in lane number two. Yeah, and we can't, you know, take any credit away from Javi because he had a really strong 100 meter freestyle here and a personal best, but also has been a staple of these Canadian relay teams for the last few years. And 24-7, when he went 149-0, now that was, that was five years ago, he was only out in 25-0, and he seems to be a much better, much more well-rounded athlete these days. And he is taking it out, not holding anything back here as he goes to the first 100 meters. He is more than a body length ahead of the entire field as he comes to the 100. Look at this split, 51-6. He is out very fast. Javi's out here wanting to swim this relay this summer, and he's like, I'm going for it. Rest of you come with me. He looks so smooth, though. He's His distance per stroke right now, he's traveling very well through the water. His legs have not dropped yet. Third 50, and it's still Acevedo by over a body length. Acevedo is looking very, very good. 26-8 on that second 50. Let's see how close he is to that split as he comes to the third. He's turning around in 119.6, so 28-0, so he's dropped a bit but he still looks very strong. He's, he can pull off another 28, he's gonna go 147, so we'll see what he's got left in the tank. Knox is battling here in two with lane number three, Bagshaw, and lane number four, Hussey. And just a few meters left to go, it's still Javier Acevedo holding on, but he's got a body length on the field as he comes to the wall. Acevedo, 147.72, a great swim for him in the win. Underneath that secondary qualifying standard, Patrick Hussey in lane number four, a great swim for him as well, 148.39. And Bagshaw down at 149.27, that is a good performance for him too. Yeah, really solid there. We're going to have to wait and see uh, what the selection committee will do about relays, but a solid, solid swim for Javi Acevedo has been continuing to add to his resume in terms of which events are his strengths and where we will see him swim. But that event, that earns him the berth to swim that event individually at the World Championships. Well, good swims for the men in the 200 meter freestyle. Acevedo, he's just improving in all sorts of events. 100 meter freestyle was a good drop for him. 100 meter backstroke under 54 seconds. We haven't seen that in a few years from him. So he's having a great long course season. And we'll 
will get an opportunity to swim this event at the World Championships. And once again, we get to talk to Javier Acevedo with Brittany McLean. Javi, another national champion event, 200 meter freestyle. Did you know that you had a 147 in you here tonight? Uh, no. <laughs> Literally everyone I talked to, that race hurts. It did not change for me. That thing hurt. Hey, Eric. <laughs> you definitely managed it well, though. You were out like a rocket, and I was saying, if, if we want to get this men's relay going, Javi is willing to go out there and get it going, so it's awesome to watch. You have been so thrilling to watch because of how happy you are on the pool deck. I want to know what your favorite memory was here this week getting to compete at these trials. Uh, watching every single one of Summer's races. That girl is so special. I mean, and this crowd, I mean, it's amazing that all you guys are here today. So thank you. Thank you to the officials. Thank you to all of Swimming Canada, all the coaching staff here. Thank you. <laughs> we'll have to end it with that. Javier Acevedo, a man from the people. Congratulations on another win here in Toronto.